Have you been drinking the same coffee for so long that you can't even taste it anymore? Are you tired of spending $15 on a bag of coffee that you don't even like? Then this coffee show is for you. Welcome to the semifinals of season one of the Bracketology of Coffee. Today we've got two awesome coffees going head to head. Actually, I happened to stumble across these during the competition. Um, never expected to find such good coffee, but both of these are really good. It's going to be an interesting challenge. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the two coffees before we go ahead and start tasting. Um, the first one is going to be Chibo Fine Mild. Um, the origin is Brazil, Central America, Papua New Guinea. 17.6 um, ounces goes for about $13. It is a light to medium roast and it is roasted in Germany. They were ranked number one in the brackets and it actually comes in a two pack of vacuum sealed uh, bags like this. So each one of those together makes up 17.6 ounces. Um, going up against the Chibo Fine Mild is Starbucks Bright Sky Blend. Um, I never tried this coffee until this competition and I really like this one as well. The origin is Latin America. Uh, 12 ounces goes for about $9. It's a light roast and they were ranked fourth in my brackets. So I'm going to prepare these coffees in a French press. I'm going to taste them twice. Um, the first half I taste them as a black coffee. The second half I taste them with cream added to it. Um, I do one tablespoon of coffee grounds for every five ounces of water. I steep it for four minutes. And these coffees are ready to be pressed right now. So I'm going to pause this video, go ahead and press them, and we will start tasting. Thanks for watching. All right, just a few housekeeping items before we get started. Uh, while I'm very proud of the fact that I found such good coffees in this um, competition. Uh, I don't claim to be a super taster. This is very informal coffee tasting. 25% of the population is thought to be a super taster and that is not this guy. I'm uh, just an average taster. I'm looking for coffee that's drinkable, coffee uh, with a pleasing aftertaste, something that gets me excited to get out of bed in the morning, something that makes me feel like I got my money's worth. So I'm going to put some coffee tips on the screen for you while this video plays and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started the way I do it is I taste each coffee once just to get an overview and then the second time I taste it I score it out of a hundred. So let's get going. The first one here is the Chibo Fine Mild. Kind of shaking a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm just chilly from the weather or if I'm nervous uh, for this competition. I feel like we're getting to a pretty high level here. So this is going to be a fun one, the Chibo Fine Mild. so smooth um, has the perfect amount of flavor um, you don't really taste uh, sometimes when you taste a dark coffee you're tasting the, the darkness of the roast which I don't care for in this I feel like you're getting just a true flavor of the coffee so this one here uh, the bright sky blend from Starbucks let's give this one a quick taste So on their package, they mention mild and nutty as the characteristics, and I would completely agree with that. It does have a little bit of a nutty flavor to it, um, which is just a, a very natural nutty flavor um, coming out in the perfectly light roast of the, uh, the, the lightness of the roast. So, all right, let's give these some scores. I've got uh, a good overview and uh, ready to, I'm ready to score. This is the Chibo Fine Mild. Yeah, um, it's so smooth. Um, the only thing I might want out of that coffee, if anything, 
and that's only in comparison to the the Starbucks is uh, just maybe a little bit more flavor um, but in this first round here uh, I'm gonna give them a 90 and now for the Starbucks bright sky blend very good smell to this coffee very good Yeah, so for those of you who know me, um, I used to own a coffee shop, and um, Starbucks was a competitor, and so I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks, but this coffee is just good, so good. Um, trying to think, I'm going to give them a 93. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of cream to each one of these cups, and I'll be right back for the second half of this competition. All right, we're back for the second half of this competition. I've added a little bit of cream to each one of these cups. The way I, the reason I do this is um, in real life, this is how I drink my coffee. I drink it black in the mornings and I drink it with half and half in the afternoons. I did a coffee tasting with my parents a few years ago and we realized that the half and half really does change the flavor. Um, some, usually for the better, sometimes for the worse. Um, so that's why I do it. Uh, it kind of makes for a fun uh, setup of the competition where we do first half and second half scoring, but um, this one here I'm tasting right now is the Chibo Fine Mild And same thing I'm going to drink it once to get an overview and uh, score it on the second taste mm. The half and half completely brings out the flavor in that uh, that's it's amazing the difference between drinking it black and drinking it with half and half. And now we're on to the Starbucks Bright Sky Blend. The half and half has enhanced the flavor on that one as well. Um, not quite as much. Um, but they both have benefited from the half and half. So let's give these guys a score and then let's declare a winner. Here we go. This Chibo with half and half is good. Um, I'm going to give them a 93. Another reason I do the format of this competition head-to-head uh, -head is because when you set up two coffees side-by-side, -side, you can really compare and contrast. Uh, one day I might be in a bad mood and score something good or score something bad because I'm in a bad mood, and one day I might score it good because I'm in a good mood. But today I'm tasting them side-by-side, -side, and it's not about really so much the numbers. It's really about the numbers in comparison to the other guy. So um, that's why I, this is so fun for me. Um, I think we're really going to find the best uh, may the best man win I think it's truly gonna happen in this competition so here's the Starbucks bright sky blend yeah I mean that that coffee is just so good uh, I'm gonna give them a 95 all right let me get out the calculator tally the scores and we will be back to declare a winner All right, Chibo Fine Mild. They scored a 90 in the first half, 93 in the second half for a total of 183. And the Starbucks Bright Sky Blend. They scored a 93 in the first half, 95 in the second half for a total of 188. The winner of round five, Starbucks Bright Sky Blend. And this is a good coffee. It's going to be interesting to see how they do in the finals. Uh, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. We will see you next time.